Hello friends, welcome to today's edition of Bible Chat and Free with Emma. I'm so glad that you're here and I welcome all my new subscribers. It's always, always great to see the numbers increasing by the day. I thank you so much for your support. To my returning subscribers, I always look forward to hearing comments from you and just getting to know what you think about the video that you would have watched that I would have uploaded. So in today's video, this is a requested video, so I was asked the question, <laughs> how often is an individual supposed to purchase beddings, towels, undergarments, pajamas, and toothbrushes? So I was like, okay, that's something that I think I can tackle. And so not to waste much of your time, it is very important for you to know your budget. Of course, things always change, but we kind of have a rough idea of our setting, our surroundings, our environment, and how our home functions. There's really no right or wrong, but there's just necessary things that an individual should incorporate in their lifestyle. When it comes to toothbrushes, I think that you go to the dentist at least twice a year and then you are told that you have to change your toothbrushes on the pack of your toothbrush or on the pack it tells you to purchase a new toothbrush after every three months. So I think that you can just follow that. One of the struggles I have is if I really love this toothbrush <laughs> and I've not paid attention, I've been quick to throw away the container that is in I won't know what is the what is it called where did I get it so I think it's important for you to just know that at least after you could just say every quarter to make it easy now depending on how you manage your household you could just say you'll buy the toothbrushes in bulk at a particular time during the year certain things you buy in bulk and you could toothbrushes like perhaps a good idea would be whenever you're buying your products mouthwash toothpaste dental floss then you could just add toothbrushes to that it's good to have um, extra toothbrushes within your home for visitors or for when you need to change it's all about preference but remember that your toothbrush is something that you put in your mouth it's so so personal so you don't want to keep it for too long and you don't want to use a toothbrush that is all sorts of bacteria so it's good for you to change your toothbrushes frequently when it comes to things like washcloths and gloves and anything we use within the shower your sponge i would say that those every month you should change if you stay too long with a washcloth it becomes slimy if your washcloth is slimy, that's a sign that it should now be in the trash. It's not even good to use as a cloth, a rag, to just clean the surface. You should just go in the trash. But it's good for you to get into a habit of every month changing your washcloths. And this would also apply to anything that you use, like your sh things like shaving sticks. It all just depends on your use. But... How you also take care of certain items will determine their longevity. Washcloths, just trash them after a month. You want to be able to use clean things on your body. When it comes to items like your towels, towels are something very personal as well. I feel an individual, there's really no right number of towels in my opinion if you have at least two you're on the right track because it's better than having one <laughs> but if you have you know even four it's good and you can change your towel every other day so that you at least know that you're using a clean towel a towel that is fresh and then purchasing a towel i think maybe once a year it's good for you to change your towels if need be it's all kind of about if need be but what i will say is your towel should not be if it's white it shouldn't be brown black 
it shouldn't be torn or worn out. I don't think your towel should get to that point. Even though I know some people will say that's where the towel works the best, but avoid keeping things for too long that you use on your skin. So you would wash your towels um, as often as you can. And I mean, when I say as often as you can, I literally mean maybe once a week, the towel, you should wash it. And when I say once a week, I'm assuming that you've changed your towels maybe twice or three times in that week. So get into a habit of thinking to yourself that if I've used this towel for two days, is it good for the third day? Or should it just go straight into the laundry hamper? I know some people change their towels every day. It works for them because they're able to get the laundry done. But if you feel that that's too much work, just make sure to smell your towel to know whether it's still good for use. Yes, it's your towel. You shouldn't feel ashamed of doing that. And so when it then comes to beddings as well, you have to think about um, how you want to sleep when you're going to bed or taking a nap. You want the place to be fresh with a fresh scent, to not feel kind of musky. You want the environment of your bedding to be pleasing and comforting to you as well. So that means your bedding, at least I believe that you should change your sheets twice a week. Some people do three times, some people four, some people they do once a month. Uh-uh, mm -mm, shame on you. Your bedding should be changed at least twice a week, at least. Or if you see that, oh, I spilled something on my bedding, you should just change. In fact, I spilled something on my sheets. I ate in my bed and now it's messed up. You need to just put that in the laundry. Don't continue to sleep on bedding that is dirty. If you feel like um, it smells, don't say it's not yet time for me to do the, you know, change my sheets. Having said that, that means that you need a good number of pairs of sheets. Ah, that one is tricky because I feel that you should have at least at least five. I now don't know if that's too much because I don't know how many pairs of sheets people are having. But I would say you need a number of sheets that in case anything happens, you fall sick. God forbid, but you're able to change your sheets and your sheets shouldn't be brown as well if you have light colors. And I prefer light colors because they're warm. They For me, they kind of make me relax better. But if you have light colors, you have to ensure that they're clean and you can find different methods of how to make them stay white and bright. But what I will say is your bed, your pillowcase, you can change after every two days. I do that because I think that even though I sleep with a bonnet, what comes to my mind is that my head, my hair is on the pillow. And so I need to be changing my pillowcases more often. So I think the goodness is a lot of companies that sell bed sheets add a lot of pillowcases in them. Oh, good thing you can buy single pillowcases. You know how they just sell just pillowcases? so that you can continually change them. And that's not a heavy load of laundry when you get to washing them. So the next thing you also need to remember, I would say for when it comes to sheets, you could buy them once a year, you could, I'll buy two pairs of sheets. Sometimes just one pair and it's okay. And I feel that it's okay. But Washing the sheets for me is very important, but the bed sheets as well shouldn't be worn out. So now it all just depends on how the quality of your bed sheet determines how often you're going to change it. So you have to just be able to see what bed sheets do you have. And it's also good, thank God, to things like Google, Pinterest, and you know, various social media platforms where you're able to learn about different counts of bed sheets and people will tell you which brands are good. So I think it helps us a lot. So always research first and see which bed sheet quality you like. And you could start off by just purchasing the pillowcases if they sell the pillowcases separately. Then you can kind of feel like, huh, is this what I want or no? Because sometimes it may be high quality, but it may just be 
too hot when you're in bed. I don't know if you understand, but sometimes some sheets may not work for you and they work for somebody else. So you just got to figure out. And then when it comes to bedding, I love to have a duvet cover and insert. That has changed a lot of things in my making the bed and laundry experience because you're just able to take the cover and wash that instead of the whole comforter whenever you need to do laundry for your beddings. So those are the ones that I just interchange and I find that I stick to kind of the same colors. I don't know why, but I find that those are things that if you find a sale or if you feel like buying, but you should at least have two, at least two. Two, if something happens to one, if you're too tired to do laundry, but you need to change them, you at least have something um, in your cupboard. You have something in your cupboard that you can take and use in that moment. So at least two, you'll be safe. But because we are women and we like things, you can have 15 if you want. Storage is always necessary and important. That helps you kind of pack the stuff nicely. And then also see what you have and how you want to um, arrange your bedding that particular week. But I feel like, you know, I usually would change the cover after two weeks. So every two weeks, I'll change the cover, the sheets twice a week, the pillowcases after every two days. So I like the twos, 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 twos. Then your pillows. Pillows are things that we sleep on for years without realizing they need to be washed, without realizing that they need to be changed. So when it comes to your pillow, I would say that you need to invest in a good pillow first. And it's hard, but that's why I say you need to utilize the reviews and figure out um, from just reading which pillow is the best. And then washing your pillow is important. Some people's pillows are brown. Yet we bought them, they were white. If it's brown, it's now too, too old. And also it's the material. I think some of them, even if it's not that old, some of the material, whatever is inside, is just off, perhaps. But if it's brown, I think, uh -uh, it needs to go in the trash. And then, you know, you get your new set of pillows and wash them at least after every six months think that's doable because you don't want to say every month and then you're not doing it so you try slowly if you feel like you want to do it every three months you can go ahead and do that but i think twice a year is good enough so then when it comes to things like um, blankets and all that it just depends on what you like your preference but it's good for you to have throws it's good for you to have different types of blankets and also to consider that if you have guests, I can just give them a blanket if you know if you're cold and sitting on the couch and throw stuff like that helps. How often do you change your socks? I don't think an individual needs socks to have holes. I don't think our kids' socks need to have holes or be brown. Your socks shouldn't be brown. You can put a little vinegar, baking, baking soda and detergent or washing liquid and they will be white or some people like bleach whichever thing you do although bleach sometimes gives it gives it a yellow color at the ending but your socks should be of a decent color and you should keep them you know when it comes to socks once they have holes they're old but so long as they are clean i think they're good but when it comes to stuff like undergarments those you need to change at least once a year. And it all depends on how many you have. There's no right or wrong number to those things, but I think at least seven. <laughs> so you have one for every day of the week, but those should be changed and you should be able to analyze all your items. So you see, is it still in good condition? Because sometimes, you want to faint, you can't even faint because now you've remembered, ah, my undergarments are torn. So, even if you are ill, someone, your friend, 
your sister, your neighbor comes over and they want to help from the goodness of their heart in all purity. They want to see you and you're in your bedroom, but you're too embarrassed now. You're like, ah, this pillow is brown. Oh, my bedding, I have white, um, well, not even white. Let's go. I have a yellow pillow. I have yellow pillow cases. I have a green and red duvet cover. I have mismatched other pillowcases or things are just your sheets are mismatched things are just not together then you're like oh no i'm fine you don't need to come anymore and yet you know you need their help and support you know that you need someone to help you to you know clean yourself up let's say maybe you're living on your own or your spouse is not in the position to help you for whatever reason not negligence but whatever reason now you can't because you're feeling shy like oh with the way i dress when i'm out and about when i'm at church with my fancy hat and then they come and see they can't even help me your pajamas you don't even own pajamas you don't own a robe you don't have house shoes i think there are certain things we should just get accustomed to only and they'll be useful when the time comes if you feel that there's no use. There's a use. I've learned in life that there's certain things. There's a time when they will be useful. So just knowing even the bonnet that we sleep with, those need to be washed. You can't sleep with a bonnet for two, three, one month, six months. It's never been washed. And then you wonder why your face is reacting. And then some people are, are fortunate. They never go through any facial issues regardless of how dirty their bedding is. But guys, I think it's good for you to respect yourself, to honor yourself and value yourself and take care of everything that you own. Own it. Be proud of your bonnet. The men don't like women who wear bonnets. Ah, I know you're like, no, that's not true. Women know that men don't like these bonnets. And maybe it's because they smell, we don't wash them often. <laughs> I don't know why they don't like bonnets. I've heard that many times from different men that those bonnets are not nice. But I figured that, oh, maybe it's because they're smelling. So we need to wash our bonnets. Our bedding needs to be clean at all times. Respect and value your surroundings. Where you sleep is very, very important. Shake off your beddings. Don't just make your bed without letting air go in. And always have an air freshener that you just spray to make the room smell nice. Your towels should be fluffy. And another thing that stops them from being fluffy is using um, fabric softener. You could use vinegar. That helps fluffing up your towels. But everything that we use on our bodies should be we need time to clean all our stuff and take inventory and do I fit this does this look right is it going with where I am right now if not pack it away the things that need to be thrown in the trash put them in the trash don't say I'll give it to so and so some things are not worth giving someone but if they're worth just wash it up and put it away and then donate it but ensure that everything that you have is pleasing not only to yourself, but if a situation happens, <laughs> God forbid, you won't feel like you start acting like you're fine and yet you're not fine. Then you end up collapsing later on because you've been doing so much work so that people don't go into your room to see, to see what a disaster is in your room. So friends, I hope it has helped you and made you take an assessment of your own stuff, made you look through to see what is it that I need to trash? What is it that I need to purchase? And stick to it. When you find a good thing, just stick to it. Don't try and start getting to purchase other stuff. That's where we get the mismatches. That's where we get disappointed. So when you find good things, stick to it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you'll be able to take stock of what you have and take care of everything with all pride. It is your money at the end of Take care of it.